What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and as you can see I'm gonna be showing you how to build this suburban house and you may or may not know But in some of my previous tutorials for example my suburban house number two that house was actually very big You could go ahead and just call that a mansion But it was lacking bedrooms and bathrooms and only had two bedrooms and two bathrooms so I decided to go ahead and start putting more time towards the interior layout of my houses so as you can see we have this house right in front of us and it's not that big but I was able to squeeze in four bedrooms and four bathrooms it also has a pretty large garage and a nice little outdoor patio space towards the back side of the house but now let's just go ahead and get right into building it Okay, so in part one of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing up the exterior walls for the house. So you're going to need some diorite, white concrete, pillar quartz block, light gray concrete, white stained glass panes, quartz stairs, granite, bricks, dark oak planks, and dark oak fence. Okay, so if you want just the house itself, then from left to right, you're going to need at least 64 blocks. And then from front to back, you're going to need at least 35. And that is including the overhang for the roof around the sides of the building. And then if you want everything around the building, then from left to right, you're still only going to need 64 blocks. And then from front to back, you're then going to need at least around 73. Okay, so I'm going to be starting at the front left side of the house. And I have my diorite. And I'm going to place from the right to the left 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then behind this last block you then want to place 10 more so it's 11 in total including that one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now you want to go on the back side of this block and just match it up to the same way that the front is so if i go back at the front side you should have a shape like that. So this is going to be the left part of the house. All right, so I'm still at the front side and I'm gonna go off to the right corner. And then I'm gonna bring out three more blocks. And then I'm gonna go off to the right and place another 25. So including this block, it's 26 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And now on that last block, you want to go behind it and place two more. So keep in mind, I'm still at the front side and you should have a shape like that. Okay, now go back where we left off. So keep in mind, I'm still looking at it from the front side. And I then want to place another 11 blocks starting right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I want to go forward 3 blocks. So towards the front side, 3 blocks like that. And then one more off to the right. Then I want to skip over nine grass blocks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the tenth block, you could place two more blocks of diorite. So, real quick, that is going to be the opening for the garage door. And then this little section that's popping up here is going to be where the front porch is. And then we just have like a little section off to the left. Right there is going to be a hallway for the interior. 
So as of right now, it's looking like that. Now, as you can see, I'm where the garage door is going to be. So right where we left off, go to this corner and place 18 blocks. So this entire side, including this block, is going to be 19 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And now you want to go kind of like behind this last block, so facing that direction. You then want to place another 12, so including this corner is going to be 13 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now behind this, you then want to place three more blocks. So, this back wall here should line up with the front wall at this side. So I'll go up above. This entire area is going to be where the garage is. Then we're gonna have a little hallway leading off to that. Here we're going to have the kitchen and living room. And that section over there is going to be a bedroom. So I'll go up above and show you what we have so far. So I'm looking at the front side right now. But let's go ahead and go towards the back. So now I'm looking at the back and I'm gonna go off to the left where we left off. And I then want to place another 11 blocks starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Now I want to go back two spaces. And then I want to go off to the right 25. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And now it should meet up with that corner there. And then you could just fill that in. So now from up above, from the back side, it's looking like this. And then from the front side, it's like that. So this shape here is going to be the main part of the house. Keep in mind, we still have the front porch and a little back patio that we're going to have towards the back side of the house. But I'm going to be doing that stuff in the next video. So in this one, I'm probably just going to bring up all of the walls and I might end up doing the roof as well. But now let's go ahead and switch to our pillar quartz block and I just want to go on each corner towards the exterior and just replace it with the pillar quartz block. So for example, we're going to be filling it in with each corner here at the left side of the house. And as you can see, this is an interior corner so we're not going to be filling it in there. But we are going to do it here because that's like an exterior corner. That corner is going to be seen this one isn't then you could do the same thing over here as well as this one this one and then towards the front side of the house where the garage is and then two more so one here and then one over here so i'll go up above as you can see i didn't fill in any of the interior corners but i did all of the exterior ones Next, we could go ahead and start bringing up the walls. So I'm going to head over to the front left side. You want to make sure to switch to your white concrete. And I'm going to start at this corner right here and just place one layer of white concrete on top of all of the diorite. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it at this corner. So we're just going to be worrying about this left side first. Now we could go off to this left corner, so right where this white concrete is. You could place one more block on top of it. Then you could switch to your light gray concrete and place one block next to that. You then want to skip one block and then place one more. Then skip over four blocks. And on the fifth one, you could place another light gray concrete block. Skip a space and place one more. 
And now you can switch back to your white concrete and place two more for the remaining spaces. So this is going to be the window at the front side of the building. You can then switch back to your light gray concrete and place three more layers on top of the blocks that you already have. So it's four in total. And then at the top edge of those blocks, you can switch to your quartz stairs and place them upside down. Now you can switch to your white stained glass panes and fill in all the empty space within the light gray concrete. Lastly, you can switch to your white concrete and fill in the remaining space on each side and then you could go up above the windows and place one more layer. So now the front left side of the building is looking like this. You can then switch to your pillar quartz block and continue bringing this corner up to the same layer as the white concrete. All right, now let's head off to the left side and over here we're going to have two two block wide windows. So first off you can switch to your white concrete, place one block next to the corner, so the pillar. Then you can switch back to your light gray concrete, place one, skip two, place one, skip two again, and then place one. And now this last space here you can fill in with white concrete. So once again we're going to have two two block wide windows. You can then switch back to your light gray concrete again, place three more layers on top of the concrete that you already had. Then you can switch to your quartz stairs, place them upside down at the top block, and then continue filling in the rest of your white concrete. And you could go ahead and switch to your pillar quartz block and fill in the corner to the same height. And the last thing you could do is fill in the glass for the windows. Okay, so this side is looking like that. Now, you can head off to the back side. And we're going to have the same windows back here that we had at the front. So first off, let's go ahead and bring this white concrete up to the same layer as everything else. And then we could go to this side and place two layers all the way up as well. And then, like I said, the same window at the front is gonna be at the back. So you can switch to your light gray concrete, place a block, skip one, place one, then skip four. And then on the fifth block, place one, skip one, and place one. Now you can place three more layers on top of this, so it's four in total once again. At the top edge of those gray concrete blocks, you could place upside down quartz stairs and then a layer of white concrete on top of it and then your white stained glass panes. Okay, so I'm at the front side right now and you should have brought this entire left side up. But now let's head off to the back and I'm gonna go where we left off. So we have these two spaces here. Let's go ahead and fill this in with white concrete and then bring the quartz pillar up. Then here, you could go ahead and place one layer of white concrete on top of all the diorite all the way across for now. Keep in mind, we are going to have a doorway right here for the back patio, but for now we'll just fill that in and worry about the door later. So let's head back over to this corner and continue with your white concrete. You could place a block right here, then switch to your light gray concrete and place one block next to that. Skip over a block and place another one. Then skip over two spaces and then on the third block place one more and then skip over one more space and place your last block. So that is going to be a window right there. So you can then place three more layers of light gray concrete on top of that. 
Then you can switch to your quartz stairs, place them upside down. And let's go ahead and switch to our white concrete and fill in a layer all the way around this window. And then we could use our white stained glass panes to fill in the empty space. So now we have that little window there. And now next to this gray concrete, you then want to place another seven blocks of white concrete. So as you can see, we already have one. So you then want to place six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could actually delete these four blocks of white concrete here because that's where we're gonna have our door. And then you could go ahead and fill in all of this. So first, let's go up to the same layer as all of this white concrete. We'll just fill this all in. So we have seven spaces in total next to this gray concrete. So seven spaces from here to there. And then you can skip over four spaces and place another four white concrete. Bring it all the way up. And then you can fill in this corner here with your pillar quartz block. And let's go ahead and fill in the two spaces here with white concrete. So I'm at the back side right now and this is what it's looking like as of right now. Okay, so I'm still at the back side of the building and let's go ahead and fill in this little section here. So I still have my white concrete. Now I'm gonna place one layer on top of the diorite and we'll go ahead and turn it and fill it on that side as well. So those two spaces. Then, you can have one block of space up against that wall. And then we can start doing our windows. So switch to your light gray concrete. Place one block. Skip one. Place one. Skip two. Place one. Skip one. And place one. And then you can fill in this turn here. So that corner. So we have that window. Let's go ahead and switch back to our light gray concrete. And we're just going to be doing the same thing as all the other windows so three more blocks of light gray concrete on top of the blocks we already have then upside down court stairs you can then switch to your white concrete place that all the way up to the same height one layer above the windows and we'll go ahead and fill in this corner as well then the last thing left to do is the white stained glass panes to finish off the windows. So now we have that little section looking like that. So once again, that is going to be the hallway, but I'm also going to have a bathroom right here. So half of it's going to be a hallway, half of it's going to be a bathroom. Then you could go and go ahead and bring up this pillar quartz block. And then at this wall, we're going to have a similar window to that and the four space one over there. Except this one is going to have three spaces in the middle instead of two. So first off, one layer of white concrete on top of the diorite. Then one block at or like up against the pillar. You can then switch to your light gray concrete. Place one, skip one, place one. And then like I said, you can skip three on the fourth block, place one, skip one and place one. And then one block of white concrete at that corner. All right, let's go ahead and bring these up. Three more layers. So it's four in total. And then the top is gonna to be covered up with upside down quartz stairs. And then you can switch to your white concrete, bring this all the way up, cover up the top, and bring this all the way up. Let's go ahead and bring the corner up as well. Now you can switch to your glass and fill in all the space here. And there we go. Now we have the back side of the building. So that is going to be the, where the garage is. But that's going to be like a little bathroom and hallway. And then that door is going to be leading off from the kitchen. And then right here is going to be where the living room is. And then we have a bedroom. So once again, here is a full view of the back side of the house. 
All right, now let's head off to the left side over here. So I'm looking at it from the back and we're gonna go at the left. So this is going to be the wall where the garage door or where the garage is. So first off, you can switch to your white concrete and place a layer all the way to the front on top of the diorite. Let's go back to this pillar, place two blocks of white concrete, then switch to your light gray, place one, skip two, and place one. Let's go back towards the front, place two layers of white concrete, then light gray concrete, place one, skip two, and place one. Then the rest of the space in the middle is going to be filled in with white concrete. So we have a two block wide window there and there. Now you can switch to your light gray concrete. Place three more layers on top of these so it's four in total. And then upside down quartz stairs once again. And then you can fill in the rest of the space with white concrete. All right, and then you can switch to your glass. Fill all of this in. And go to the front corner. Bring up the pillar. And then you could also bring up a layer of white concrete where this diorite is. All right, so now this side is the garage wall. So it's looking like that. All right, now I'm at the front side of the building where the garage door is going to be. And I then want to place six more layers of white concrete on top of this diorite so it matches the same height as that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can switch to your pillar quartz block, bring the corner up, and also fill in this side with a wall of white concrete at the same layer as well. Now for this space, it's going to be the same window that it is at the back. So you can fill in one layer of white concrete on top of the diorite. We'll go ahead and fill in that corner as well. And then you can place one block on this side, switch to your light gray concrete, place one, skip one, place one, then skip two, place one, skip one, and place one. And then you can fill in this corner here. Now you can switch back to your light gray concrete, place three more on top of that so it's four in total, and then you could just do the same window design that you've done everywhere else, and then you could also use your white concrete to fill in the space around the window. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and bring this pillar quartz block up as well. And let's go off to this side over here. We'll fill it in with white concrete and we'll bring up the pillar as well. All right, there we go. So now the front side of the building is looking like this as of right now. The only thing left to do is we're gonna be using are granite and bricks and we're gonna have a random mixture where the last section is but as of right now this is what we have i guess i'll go up above and show you that once again so there we go so as you can see i'm still at the front side of the building and we're gonna go ahead and start filling in this section so i'm gonna start out with my bricks and i'm gonna go off to this pillar here towards the right and I then want to place 11 blocks on top of the diorite. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I'm going to skip over two spaces and on the third block, I'm going to fill all of this in until we meet up with that corner there. All right, now let's go on each side and fill in one block of space at the same height as everything else. So like that, let's go over here, do the same thing. 
And now we could go ahead and start doing the windows. So you could switch to your light gray concrete. We'll start at the left over here. I'm gonna place one block, skip one, place one, skip two, place one, skip one, and place one. So you should, should have two spaces remaining. And then you have the two spaces and then two spaces here. So on this side, we have one block, skip one, one, skip two, place one, skip one, and place one. So like I said, two spaces remaining there now. This space in the middle is going to be the front door. Next, you could continue using your light gray concrete and just place another three on top of this once again. And then at the top of these blocks, you can have an upside down quartz stair. You can then switch back to your bricks, place one layer on top of all of the windows, fill in the space here, and then go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Now switch to your white stained glass panes, fill in all the rest of this empty space. Alright, so there we go. And now as you can see, it's all just regular brick right now. But what I'm going to do is switch to my granite and kind of just place them randomly. So it gives this wall a little bit of texture instead of just having like a solid layer of brick. It looks a little bit better when you have, when you put a different texture into it. It looks like it has more texture. So for example, if I go all the way back here, you could see that the colors are a little different and it looks like there's actually texture to the brick. As for this side, it's all plain and it just looks kind of unreal more like a cartoon, that kind of makes it look a little more realistic. So let's go ahead and maybe place one more right around there. Okay, so that side should be good. I feel like that should be good enough. Maybe we could place another one at this space. All right, I think that should be good. Now let's do the same thing on this side. So just place some random blocks until you feel like it looks good enough to you. And keep in mind, you don't actually need to do this if you don't want to. I personally think it just makes it look a little bit better, just a little more realistic. Gives it a natural look. Alright, I think that should be good. Maybe there's too many spaces that are just two, so we have two there, two there. I think that might be too much. Let's have like three here. And then... Maybe three there. I think that should be good. All right. So once again, this is the front side of the building. And we are going to have a front porch here. So this brick and stuff really isn't going to be seen too much until you actually go on the front porch. So if you're all the way back here looking at the house, we're going to have the front porch. And it's basically going to be covered up by the front porch. But that is the front side of the house. Then we have the back side. And that's probably all I'm really going to do for this video. Like I said in some of my previous videos, I tr I'm trying to make each part not as long. So normally I would have continued bringing up the walls for the second floor. I would have done the roof. I would have done the front porch and the back patio. But I feel like that'll just make the video like an hour and a half long. I don't want it that long. So as of right now, this is what we have. I'll go ahead and do the doors and then we could do the garage door and then I'll end it there. So for the front door, you could go ahead and maybe just place a block of granite and a block of brick. So at the top like that, underneath that layer, you could then place upside down quartz stairs. And now you can switch to your white stained glass panes and go either on the left or the right. I'm just going to go on the left and I'm going to bring down four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then I'm going to curve out the bottom one and the two at the top. 
and then the second block we're going to fill in with a dark oak fence so there we go that is what the front door is looking like and keep in mind if you maybe don't want that door you can feel free just feel free to go ahead and maybe just get like an oak door like one of the minecraft doors and just fill it in maybe like right around here or you could have two doors side by side it's all up to you but i kind of feel like considering we have really tall windows and walls it would look a little weird to have a door that's just two blocks in height so for example i'll show you that because i know some of you guys were asking why i don't just use regular doors so that's how tall it would be and then you have like these massive windows so look at that you have that tiny door and then you have those tall walls and massive windows it just really doesn't look right to me like the windows are twice the size of the door so i just feel like a big door like that looks a lot better so now i'm at the front right side of the building where we're gonna have our garage door and you could go ahead and grab a twip wire hook i forgot to mention that but first you can switch to your white concrete and place a layer at the top edge in between this empty space. And then underneath that in each corner you can place one more block. Then you can switch back to your dark oak planks. You could go from the inside. So starting right here, you could fill all of this in. So you could put three layers at the bottom. So if I go at the front, it's not on the same edge as the wall, but we're in one block. So it gives this wall a little bit of depth. Then I'm going to place one block on each side. Now you can switch to your white stained glass panes and just put a strip right across right there. You can then switch back to your dark oak planks and place two more layers on top of the glass. Alright, so now we have the garage door, so if I look at the front, it's looking like that. Now you can switch to your tripwire hook and place it at the center at the bottom. So that's going to act as the garage door handle. So there we go, that is the garage door. Now I'm at the back side of the building and we're going to have one more doorway here. So I actually have some pillar quartz blocks. And I'm going to cut out this layer of diorite. And then on each side with the pillar quartz block, you could bring up four. All right. And then on the fifth block, you could kind of turn it like that. So that's going to be the corner. And then you could bring two spaces across like that. So two blocks. So that's going to be the back door. And then you could cover up the top with white concrete. So the reason why I actually put pillar quartz blocks like that, normally this is the design that I would do for the interior doorways. But like I said, we're going to have like an outdoor patio right here. So I kind of felt like it was a mixture between uh, like the exterior and the interior since it is still kind of inside since it's like a little closed in patio. So that's why I used pillar quartz blocks. And real quick before I forget, uh, let's grab a stone button and cover up the corners of the doorway like that. So there we go. That is all I'm gonna be doing for part one of this tutorial on how to build a suburban house. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for part one on how to build this suburban house. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two. Later. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I had some